everybody, it's Jane from Norman S. Wright. Last week I did a presentation on setting pattern controllers in linear diffusers, and I thought it'd be a good topic to talk about here, so let's talk about that this week. Let's get started. You'll see several different types of pattern controllers used in linear diffusers. They may look like this, often referred to as clamshell or ice tongue pattern controllers, or like this, kind of like a dumbbell. Or you may have pattern controllers that look like this. I don't know that there's a common name for them, so we'll just call them straight blade. The next couple are more common for plenum slot diffusers. You'd have a fixed curved blade like this, or a gasketed blade like this. And then you also see the clamshell in plenum slot diffusers as well. Now let's move this over and look at how you set the air patterns. On the ice tongue pattern controllers, you adjust each side of the tongue separately. If you leave both sides towards the center like this, then the air goes around them and blows down. If you block off one side and leave the other side open, you create a little low pressure zone inside here which pulls the air up to the ceiling and the air would go this way. And then if you flipped them around so that the other side was closed, you'd get the low pressure zone on the opposite side and the air would go this way. And then if you close both sides, you damper it off completely and there's no airflow. And if we look at the dumbbell shaped pattern controller, it slides side to side. So if you slide it all the way to one side, you get a low pressure zone in here and the air flows this way and goes across the ceiling. If you push it to the other side, your low pressure zone goes to the other side and the airflow will go in the other direction. And if you leave it in the middle, the airflow around both sides and goes straight down. And then for the next pattern controller, if you just leave it open, the air will come in and flow down. These will pivot side to side so you can open it more and the air will go down or you can close it off more and the air will go down and you're just really changing the velocity of the air going through it. You can also angle them both to one side and you'll kind of get a downward but angled flow, but you can never really get this to go across the ceiling like the two styles above. This style was really designed to push the air down a good distance into the space. And then if you close them off together, you can damper off the air. So now let's move this over and look at the plenum slot diffuser pattern controllers. First, there's this fixed curved blade. It's curved like this and you'll get a little low pressure area kind of in here and so the air would come in and flow this way. Let me draw the inlet in for this one as well. You can see that the air would come in on this side and curve around and go into the space this way. So you wouldn't want the inlet to be on the other side because you're going to have the air come in and hit the back side of the plenum and it's going to be hard to move it back around and get it down into this curved pattern. And in the gasketed adjustable blade controller, the blade goes back and forth. It pivots in the center. So if you have them straight up and down, the airflow will go straight through and down into the space. If you tilt it towards one side, you get a little low pressure zone over here and the air will come in and go around this way and hold the ceiling. Now let's move these two over a little so I can draw the last one in. And then if you flip it the other way, you get the same thing with a low pressure zone on the other side and the air holding the ceiling in the other direction. Let me move this over again. So why do you want to adjust the pattern controllers? Well, in a typical installation, during cooling, you want the airflow to go across the ceiling and down the wall to roll the room. In heating, though, you would want the air to be in the direction of the perimeter wall or window so that you can get heat into the occupied space. So let's bring everything back on screen. Linear diffuser pattern controllers are not usually in the correct position when they ship, so hopefully now you can see where the low pressure areas are in the linear diffuser and how you can get the airflow to go where you need it to go so you can adjust them for your specific application. If you have any questions or topics you'd like for me to cover, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.